So hello to everybody on Facebook and hello to everybody who's joined us on Instagram. We're back for the first styling season, styling season of the something, for the first styling video of the season. And what we're going to do is show you ladies how to update your denim wardrobe actually in 12 ways this spring. So we're going to use a mix of items that you may already have purchased and then just show you how to bring in a little bit of newness with each outfit that we are wearing. Welcome to everybody. If you're on Instagram and you have got any questions, we will try and follow it on the phone um, as we go through, but we lose everything. So it might be just as well to message us. As um, you know on Facebook, we go through the comments afterwards so we can um, see your questions and come back to you. So what have you all been up to whilst we've been away? It would be lovely to hear from you. You can see that Gainer and Lorraine are on and Joanne, hi. And hi to, oh my goodness me, lots of people are coming up on um, Instagram flashing up in front of my eyes. Um, yeah, be good to hear from you about what you've been up to. It's been fairly manic here. Um, quite a lot of our deliveries are late because obviously of the issues in the Red Sea, everybody's having to go the long way round. So we're still waiting for Sukarno, we're still waiting for K Design, we're still waiting for most of Pomodoro, still waiting for most of Bloomings. So um, the list goes on. We are, however, finally ready to have a capsule spring wardrobe in the shop. We still don't have enough stock to fill the shop completely, so the sale is limping on in the shop. And when you go online, ladies, you will see that there is not as much as um, you would usually find. But that hopefully will be rectified in the next two to three weeks. So I think we've got lots joining us now. That's fab. We will crack on. So as you know, what we like to do at Artichoke is help you build a cohesive, coherent wardrobe. And what that translates to is you buy a piece one season from us and we will buy pieces for you to buy the following season that will work with the piece that you bought from us last season. So instead of me trying to explain that, I'm going to demonstrate it to you. I'm wearing my Carmela loafers that we had in the winter. This is actually their first outing. Um, although spring has or, or officially arrived here in Norfolk, I just can't tell you how wet it is. So we are still actually wandering around in our wellies. We're certainly not wearing our loafers. But these beautiful Carmela shoes, loafers are now 68 pounds in the sale. We have had just delivered and will be online by the end of the week backless loafers in the same style and some fuchsia full loafers in the same style. So keep an eye out for those ladies. Uh, the piece that I am wearing that is from last season um, is actually our Bloomings blazer. These sold out in about three weeks and we have managed to restock them. So we're carrying them on into the uh, spring and hopefully we've bought enough to be able to carry these through into next winter for you as well because they're a gorgeous long line knitted blazer with a pocket retailing at £85 and as you can see they give you a bit of shape. If I undo my blazer and whistle it off, underneath you will see that I have my 1913s for those of you who um, have joined us at Artichoke over the past year, these are the equivalent of our Magic Stretch jeans. They're just a 7 8 and they are actually the jean that you will normally see me wearing because even in the winter I prefer to wear my 7 8 These are blue black and they are 27 inches long. I am in the size 12. And the star of the show is from Baralocci. This is the Luca blouse. It is £89. Can you see the beautiful frill detail on the cuff? It has this gorgeous stand-up collar. But this stand-up collar has a frill on it as well. So we have a stand-up collar to come partially up the neckline. And then, of course, it has this ultra-flattering placket. 
Now, obviously, I do matchy matchy, and my belt is not matching my shoes, but that's because. Um, I have had the weekend from hell. I've spent the entire weekend ladies sleeping because I've had the most horrific bug that I couldn't shake off. So it meant this morning I just got up and ran to work after swimming. The fact I could swim meant I was back in the land of the living. So I'm actually showing you this gorgeous uh, turquoise belt which is in the sale at um, 19 pounds. And although I wouldn't wear it with these trousers and my black shoes, I definitely would wear this with this shirt and my white 1913s. But I'm not wearing the shirt with the white 1913s, so you're just going to have to imagine what it's like with the belt. That's me. Ellie looks bloody gorgeous. I hate her. <laughs> And Sarah's been getting some lovely compliments on Instagram about the shirt. So there we go. Um, I'm in love with that shirt. Doesn't it look fab? So I am um, I'm in for new jeans and I'm in love with them. So I was just talking to Sarah, um, saying how I am totally in love with them. Um, but really, can I take them home? Is my three-year-old going to ruin them within five seconds of walking through the door? Yeah, um, I'll just leave but, them here. Yeah, I'll just have to leave them here. Just purely work trousers, get changed before I go home. Um, so uh, that is my new item. Um, they are the Barilocci jeans. Um, they're £99. Super flattering, nice and high-waisted. Um, they have got four buttons, as you can see there, and my belly button. Actually, they're probably just sitting on my belly button. Um, I am in the size 14 in these. Um, I thought that I um, would have to go up to the 16, but actually I, I don't. Um, there's no pulling on the buttons or anything like that. Um, and actually I think it looks a bit better on my bottom um, being in the smaller size. Um, so that is uh, the new jeans. Uh, the jean, uh, the denim jacket from Airfo, 89 pounds. Now um, this isn't mine, I left mine at home, but I do genuinely have this in my wardrobe. So this is what this is the piece that I'm updating with the new items. Um, really um, stretchy denim. It's it's very very handy for me because I can move everywhere, do everything that I need to. Um, but it still looks kind of tight enough and chic enough that um, you know I don't feel like I'm wearing a, an oversized jacket. Um, so and I think it goes great with this. This the slightly lighter colour of the denim with these um, beige coloured trousers, cream coloured trousers. Um, I'm really loving the look. So I have got one of the new belts that you will see appear, see appearing online very, very soon. Um, so this is the brown buckle belt, um, 20 pounds. Um, they also come in navy and black. Um, they aren't quite live, but they are almost there. Within the next couple of days, they're going to be live online, um, just so you're aware. They're quite spongy, aren't they? They are, actually. They are spongy, yes. And I have to say, they come in really great sizes. So they, these ones come in small, medium and large. Um, I think I picked up a medium, but as you can see here, as a size 14 on the hips, that's where it's actually, I could have done with the small. Um, and then they come in a large as well, so they're really, really great sizes in these belts. So do um, have a look out for them. If you're a lady like me with big hips um, and you need something um, to really wrap around, then um, look out for these. Um, so they, like I said, they're going to be 20 pounds. I've then matched it with my Isabel. Um, in colour, I think it's cream. Yeah, it's not nude, it's cream. It's cream, um, £50. I just thought that uh, rather going for a darker denim or a navy, I would try and uh, keep the whole light aesthetic going. Um, although, like I say, it isn't usually something that I would put together being so light. Um, my t-shirt underneath is the long sleeve t-shirt in white, £26. Uh, one of our essential pieces, can't go wrong really. I've got the wrong colour bra on, so completely ignore that. Um, but can't go wrong, everybody needs a couple of, um, you know, t-shirt, uh, plain t-shirts in their wardrobe. Um, I've got white, black and navy and they usually do me fairly well with all of my outfits just to bung on underneath. So, um, and just on the bottom I have got my um, boots that are from... Um, Oh, I think it was last, last year, I think it was last year, um, that I think we, if we have anything left, we have one left in the sale, um, but any boots, and I was actually intrigued on putting some flat forms on the bottom of this as well, um, but I didn't quite get that far today, because as Sarah said, it has been slightly manic, uh, but I think it would have worked really well with some flat forms as well to keep it nice and casual. And here is Sarah, your hood's flat. No, it's flat, 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 it's flat,
right, ladies. So, oh, this is our new gelée. <laughs> it's bloody gorgeous. So, um, it's, I haven't written down how much it is. Hang on, it's £72. Now, because I'm going to wear this in the spring, let me do it up. Um, so I am not going to have very, very heavy jumpers underneath it. I can get away with the small. Um, it's quite a boxy shape. Gorgeous colour. Absolutely gorgeous colour. And the reason my hood is hanging off is I wanted to show you, because it's got a removable hood, what it looks like without the hood. And then, as you can see, this is what it looks like with the hood. I think I would probably take my hood off and it has buttons, buttons, it has pockets, <laughs> it doesn't have any buttons ladies, it has pockets, right so I'm going to undo that, um, I'm not sure, actually I think it is coming up the right colour on camera, we had to redo the photography because the photography we were sent through was far too light, um, but what do you think about this ladies? Give us a thumbs up every time you see something you love. Um, it just helps us to know that you're still alive. Right, so um, this is my new item. Obviously, um, it's going to work really, really well now. If we have a rubbish summer, it's going to work well throughout the summer. I will move this into um, the winter to wear with my brown wardrobe and to lift my black wardrobe. It's going to cost me 72 quid. It is coming home with me. Cost per wear. Well, the black gilet that I got from Jessica Graff two winters ago, it, it owes me nothing, does it? Yeah, I mean, no, and yeah. yours. I mean, we wear yeah. them virtually every Constantly, day. Yeah. I think mine's got to be downgraded to inside now, though, to be honest with you. I'm just going to give that to Ellie. This is the item that I'm updating. Um, although I'm putting away my heavier um, winter knitwear at the moment, this is a fine cotton knit. It's a very, very fine knit jumper, which means that because it was four degrees uh, this morning, I can layer this, minus four degrees this morning, I can layer this under my blazer, still be warm, um, but not feel hot and get overwhelmed as the day goes on so these are 45 pounds and fine knit roll next we've got them in lots of colors uh, these ladies are our new jumping jeans um, i'm looking slightly odd i'll talk to you about that in a minute they went online we sold out in about 12 hours we are however able to back order them we have lots of you we know have have back ordered them already i'm just trying to get some sense out of germany as to when they are going to arrive these we hung on to because these were the ones that we uh, used to put online and these are the ones that we will send to um laurie at vanity and me they are a size 10. now as all well, the difference with these is these are the wide leg jumping jeans so they're not a very very wide leg they're more of a straight leg i think they're gorgeous you love them too, I don't love you them, Ellie? Yes. Yeah. they're 30 inches long um now i could if they did them i could physically hoof myself into a size eight however when i do that with the normal jumping jeans i lose the rise it comes to below my hip bones and that's why i personally don't wear normal jumping jeans because apart from my tummy i've got absolutely nothing else to keep the jeans up as they relax but these ones ladies have got belt loops so it means that as they relax i can tighten my belt because these are just at the top of my hips and they won't fall down it's the plaid belt it comes in several sizes um, and the great thing about these is because it's a plaid you can actually put the buckly thing wherever you want so um, it will fit you um, they're 20 quid this jumper is a size large the gilet was a small and I just wanted to talk to you about footwear. So with, I, as you can see, I've got my Sprocks trainers on here. These are mine. They are going into their third year 
And those of you who were with us last winter will know that I broke my ankle in November 2022. So last winter, this particular khaki trainer and the black one that went on my right foot is all I wore for about six months. They're still going strong. They need to go in the wash, but they're still fab. Having said that, I don't know what you think about this, Ellie, but I just think it's a bit too bulky at the bottom of my foot. I think the wider the jean, I think the sort of less wide shoe you want. So that's why I have put boots on this leg so that I've got a bit of a cropped flare. And I think what I would do with these is I would go into my loafers so you oh, can yeah. still see a bit of ankle. Yeah, that looks fine. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so that it's still elongating my legs. Because as you need to remember, ladies, I have thin legs, not long legs, and I spend my life trying to make them look longer. Anyway, here comes Ellie. I like you in that as well. <laughs> Um, the new gilet on Sarah, your inverted triangle. This is your pear shape in it. Um, so I think I would probably keep the hood on actually. I like the hood. Um, so I think I'd probably keep that on. Um, I did just quickly um, pop on the same size as Sarah had as she threw it at me. Um, so I am a size 12 on the top and um, I think I'd be buying yeah, I would be buying this one, uh, which is the size small. Um, but remember that I've got no boobs. So um, if you've got boobs, you may just have to go up because, yeah, if I had any more boobage, then I'd have to be going up to the um, to the size medium. Um, so clearly I just wanted to keep on my trousers for a little longer and do another outfit in these. So um, I'm updating these a little bit with the new gilet. And I have got the, oh, what's this one? I completely forgot. Is this Becky? Yes. <laughs> I didn't write it down. I've got a Becky Navy handbag. I'm sure they're 50 pounds. I hope I'm not completely they lying to you. 50 yeah. pounds. Um, I So I went all night um, on the last outfit. Now that I've got my light gilet on, I'm going a bit darker underneath. Um, I will just quickly say I'm five foot six. I'm guessing that these trousers, that these jeans are probably about 29 inch. Obviously, I'm sure you can, um, it's all listed on the on the website. I'm sure you can find that out, but I'm at a guess. I think they're about 29 inch um, on my legs. That's what I would imagine. Um, so if I just take off um, this beautiful new gilet, that's going to be really lovely and warm. It's lightweight, but um, because it's quilted, that is really going to keep you warm. I rather like that. Um, so underneath, let me just throw this. Underneath, I'm in the one size uh, navy sweatshirt, £39. Let me pull it out um, so that you can see what the one size is. So I am a size 12 on top, broad shoulders, 14 on the hips. So this is what it's uh, looking like on me. Now, I genuinely would wear it out like this, probably not with wide leg, but um, you know, with a slightly skinnier jean, then I would just uh, wear it like this, nice and slouchy for the day. Um, I quite like that it's actually got quite a wide neck, um, even with my broad shoulders, it's really flattering. Um, so I would probably say that if you like to wear things oversized, you can probably go from about a size 10 if you like oversized. Um, and I would say we can probably be going to about an 18 in this. Um, so yeah, they're really, really handy and for, um, for £39, um, really such a bargain. So we've had these for a little while. Uh, we do have them in some other colours, so we have some stripey variations as well. I should have really uh, brought one on to show you. Um, but the stripey variations, I think, are 40, 45 for the stripey one. So there's a denim and navy, uh, a pink and navy, which absolutely flew out um, when we got those and we restocked them. And um, this did come in, in a khaki. I'm not sure if we do still have the khaki. Um, but for £39, they are fabulous, um, you know, little little piece to have in your wardrobe um, just to throw on when you need it. Um, really, it's a great layering piece. So, um, so I um, absolutely adore them. Um, there we go, and I think. Oh, I like that. Good, oh. good. Right, so, um, yeah, this is thinking about investing now moving a bit further into your summer wardrobe um but pieces of this will move throughout the year so the first thing is my white sprox trainers these aren't mine they come out of the box the sprox trainers arrived last week they're platform 
they're called platform trainers, aren't they, Ellie? Yeah. I think they're about 35 quid. Uh, the only pair I don't, the only colour I don't have, actually, is the white, because I've got some ancient Converse's that I wear all the time. Uh, but these are super comfortable, and clearly, now they're probably about a third of the price of Converse's, not half. Um, on top, um, I'll go to my jacket first. Look at this, ladies. What a beautiful colour. It's the sky blue western style jacket. It's £70. You can start wearing it now over navy once we move into the summer. This thrown over a vest and a pair of wide leg linen trousers in white is going to look fabulous. It will also work with navy linen trousers. It's a gorgeous piece to invest in now. Uh, we know many of you have the Western Star jackets already in other colours. This is the colour of the season. I'm just going to whistle it off. Now you will recognise the pattern on this top. It's from Bloomings and in the winter we had the coral version of this which sold very quickly. It is uh, £75. It has is buttoned up to here but when you have it undone can you see the placket is is lined in a contrasting ribbon it's buttoned at the cuffs but it is um, a top rather than the shirt it's only buttoned uh, to the bottom of your bust and um, then it's just like a normal t-shirt fabulous soft jersey this is going to look perfect now with your stonewashed jeans it's going to look fairly amazing as you can see with white jeans in the summer but ladies this shirt is going to move into the winter too so in the depths of winter the sky blue and the white will lift your um, navy wardrobe now I've got on my uh, Magic Stretch 1975 uh, jeans in white, give you a twirl. Um, I am the polar opposite to Ellie, so I'm an inverted triangle. It means I've got a big boobs and no bum. The, the jeans she's wearing, I was having a bit of a nervous breakdown about because I didn't think they would fit me, but actually they work just as well on me as they do her. Um, and I'm in my usual size at 12 as well. So ladies, don't be put off buying those fabulous Barilocci jeans just because you're not a pear shape. If you're R shape too, you can get away with them. Um, I am in a 12 and my jeans are normally either a 10 or a 12, so you might have to size up half a size. Now, I've put a roll on these. The reality is that I don't actually wear my white jeans in the summer an awful lot. Uh, because I tend to move into the 7 8 which is what I'm going to show you next. But I wanted to show you these jeans, ladies, because I know lots of you want a slightly wider, slightly straighter leg than the 1913 in the summertime. So um, I've probably got two pairs of the full-length ones that I wear, and I have six or seven. And um, the amazing thing is that they stay white. I mean, I have got uh, white jeans now. Gosh, they must be five years old, you know? Um, and they're still white. I mean, they're not pristine, pristine white, but they're good enough to wear. So great investment piece. If you want a slightly wider, slightly more relaxed jean for the summer, is the 1975. We also do white and jumping jeans and indoors, ladies. Here comes Ellie. Okay, so I'm in my next jeans outfit. Um, as you can see, slightly smarter, really good work outfit for um, any of you um, out there who need something just a little bit smarter. Um, to wear to meetings or anything like that. So the jeans um, are the Ronya jeans. Um, they're £89. Um, now, they are described as very good for um, for curvy ladies. Um, Sarah, you can do Ronyas though, can't you? We tried well, them. Do you know what? I meant to wear a pair of Ronyas in this video. Oh. <laughs> because if you remember when we did the Ronyas yeah. video, we didn't have any in my size. We didn't, but we were fairly certain that actually Sarah could do them. So we'll make sure that right. we do that. I'll put them on now. <laughs> there we go. She's going to put them on now and she's going to trial it. I'm so. <laughs> 
So because they have got such high stretch in them, um, I've gone down a size. So I'm usually a 14 on the hips and on the thighs, but I am actually in the size 12. Um, they do come in a long leg and a short leg. I've gone for the long leg because I've got heels on. Um, so if I was going to be wearing them um, more casual, um, then I would think about um, going to the shorter leg. But actually, with a heel, um, just makes my leg look uh, nice and long. Um, so they're super comfy, so much stretch in them. Um, really, really great jeans. Um, I have got the base level blazer on top, £90. Um, it, we've had this. Oh, I don't know, maybe six months or so, and you guys absolutely loved it. Now, it does have quite long arms. I have folded it back a little bit. I have fairly standard length arms, um, and it was too long for me. And I'm, I'm in the 12 um, in this jacket. It would do up um, if I'd had enough chance to do it up. There you go. That's how it would look done up. I also haven't even put a belt on. That's, wh that's where we are today. Um, I have underneath... Oh, no, sorry, my handbag. That's the Beryl Navy handbag. I think 50 four pounds but again I could be lying um underneath I have got the Joanna stripe um crossback shirt so I have tucked it for the purposes of this video um so which is how I would probably wear it again if I was going to a meeting or I was going to a nice lunch um, and I needed to take my jacket off um this is probably how I'd be wearing it but with a belt um oh actually I'd quite like to try it with that turquoise belt that Sarah had on earlier but um let me just untuck it so you can actually see what it looks like now of course it's going to be fairly crumpled because it's been in thank you because it's been in my um in my trousers so it is going to be fairly crumpled Oh yeah, see, I would wear I would wear that with that turquoise. Let me know what you think. I should have tried it on before. I think that goes with the turquoise low. Um, so this is um, sixty five pounds for the Joanna crossback. This is I'm actually in the size ten, so I have um, I'm usually a twelve. Basically, I'm a twelve here and a fourteen here. So I've gone down to a ten um, because it is quite an oversized style, and it of course has got the crossback. Uh, which may be fairly crumpled at the bottom because it's been tucked into my jeans. Um, but although it's oversized, you can still see my shape, uh, which is fab. Now, if I was taking off my jacket, I'd probably just um, roll back the sleeves very slightly as well and wear it like that. So that is probably how I would actually wear it um, untucked. Super comfy. I love a slightly oversized shirt. <coughs> That's the Joanna Crossback. Oh, it's paper. Reckon to be lost in paper. Right. Okay, I'm here. Right. Sit. <laughs> so, ladies, uh, this bag is not working quite as well as it was going to work if I had white jeans on, which was the plan. So, pretend these are white momentarily and I look gorgeous. So, let's work through um, the bag. It is the Becky in a uh, light beige, fab tote, great for going shopping in. Um, because you can just shove so much in it and it's got a closed zippy thing for your phone and your handbag and I've just tied a little scarf around it because always at this time of the year we never know when we're going to um, need uh, extra warmth or indeed the skies are going to open and suddenly we need to wear a headscarf. So uh, the next piece that I'm going to talk to you about is the new um, one size zip sweatshirt that, from Dreams that has just gone online. I am 14 to 16 because of my boobs. I have a very small frame. So my frame is about a size 12 um, and it's not overwhelmingly, but that is because I am five foot six. If you were a size 12 and you were shorter, I think it might all be a bit too much for you. Um, I've undone the zips, which looked fab when they were over my white jeans. It was a really, really good look. Um, so I'm just going to do them up now. <laughs> now that's not over my white jeans, just to show you. But ladies, just, just believe me, if I have time at the end, I'll just come out in my white jeans as well. But it's more important that you see the Ronyas. We did an entire video on Ronya jeans. And I was wearing Romney jeans that were a size too big because we'd sold the last pair just before the video. We now have them in a size 10, which is the size that I should be wearing. And I they really are like those. Fans, aren't they? Yes. they are gorgeous. 
I knew they would be. It was just very hard to, to, to show you when I was wearing them too big. Because the ones that I was wearing, which happens a lot with me on jeans, were doing something very strange here, which these don't. So um, my biggest bit is my tummy. I've managed to get them done up. I have got a roll, but as the jeans relax, that will go. Um, they look good over my bottom, which is virtually impossible to achieve because I don't have one. What I do have is good legs, and these just really, really show them off. They're 32 inches long, so I've put a roll on them. I'm hoping to get them in a 28 inch leg later this summer or um, early in the autumn and again that is the length that I would buy because I love to have a little bit of gap between uh, my leg and my ankle so I just wanted to show you ladies um, having seen the Ronya on Ellie and everybody loving them that really they genuinely do work on a different body shape it's just you have to wear the right size and now I am Look, I'm good. Okay, so I'm still in my Ronyas and actually I'm still um, quite dressed up. So this is still a really great work outfit or something like that. Um, I'm in love with this new shirt and I can't wait to show you it. So still in my Ronyas in the size 12. Um, I have got the Bloomings blazer on top, um, £85. I think you saw Sarah in this earlier. That shows how much attention I'm paying. I'm sure that Sarah wore this earlier. Um, did, now, yeah. Oh, you did. So I have, I've gone down to the small. Um, that's because with this particular style, I wouldn't wear it done up. Um, if I was buying this to wear all the time, then I would be in the medium so that I could actually do it up without it pulling. But this shirt underneath, I just want to show off this shirt. This is just um, acting as a beautiful layering piece. It's a beautiful piece. Um, but really, I want you to see all of this fabulous detail. So I've gone down to the small, so it's nice and, um, you know, nice and skinny on my arms. Um, but actually, you can see all of this fabulous detailing. I have just um, popped on a necklace and I haven't written down what it's called, um, but it's definitely online. Um, and I think it goes great with this um, with this outfit. It's on kind of like a multi strand um, chain, um, which is grey in colour. And then this bit is silver. So it's a really great multi purpose piece because it's going to go with so many different colours. Um, so I'm so sorry that I didn't write down um, what it was called, but it is definitely online, I know that it is. Um, and it also does up with a magnetic clasp as well, which is very handy. Um, so if I take off um, this blazer and show you the new shirt. So it is the, the ruffle neck shirt, £89. So I am in the size 12, I think. I'm in the size 12 in this. Um, now, these bits here are um, like a cotton fabric, so they don't have any stretch in them. But this, the arms, and down here, these have got stretch. They're like a jersey. Um, so there is lots of room to move, but it looks like a really chic fitted um, cotton shirt. This detailing is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think for me, actually, it's um, it's working really well. I haven't got much of a bust, so I think it's like it's it's looking like it's giving me slightly more of a bust, which is nice. Yeah, it and it gave Sarah a little bit too much bust. Um, so, <laughs> but it's helping me out, it's helping me out. Um, I have tucked it only because as a pear shape, it is slightly finishing at the wrong point. Again, I am creasing these because of um, because I'm tucking them. But as you can see there, I really just, it's just not finishing at a great point on my body and it is just making you um, stare at my, at my hips and my thighs. So I this would definitely be something that I had to wear tucked, but I wouldn't mind that at all because it is so comfy. Um, it's so gorgeous. Um, you know, a white shirt is just, um, you know, an absolute must have. Um, in your wardrobe. There we go. See, you look much better. So now you're looking up here at my smallest point um, at my waist. Um, so super comfy. I love the three quarter sleeve. It has got a button so you can undo it if you wish. Um, and actually I haven't tried that. So let's have a little look. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, that's quite nice actually. I think I'll probably undo the button and have that like that with a nice little silver bracelet on as well. Um, would look super, super nice. So that is another um, slightly dressed up, um, you know, running about and getting ready for work in the morning like I, I so often do. Pair of jeans and a lovely white shirt, done.
Right, so I am in outfit number five, I think. Yeah, five. This is how to move your white jeans. If you are lucky enough to wear, live somewhere where you can wear white jeans from winter into summer. And it's also an outfit for um, those ladies of you who are, those of you, those ladies, those of you who are so good at layering. Um, this outfit really reminds me of our lovely customer, Kayla Franklin. She always looks so put together and she's so good at layering, which obviously is what you need in the spring. So I've got my 7 8 white jeans on, they're £79, I'm in a size 12. Um, my top layer, haven't got my glasses, is the turtleneck poncho, which is £45. And because I couldn't find a small to medium, which logically is the size that I would have, I've actually put on the large two extra large, and I don't know about you, Ellie, but I think I prefer this because yeah. it's just got a bit more length. Yes. So, um, yeah, I might actually explore this option slightly further once we finish um, this video. So this is the top layer, and then to give me the V that I so badly need, I've got the peppered musket necklace, which is twenty four fifty. And a combination of being able to see my um, sleeves, the collar and the neckline, the necklace, the, the shirt peeping out beneath and also the white jeans draws attention away from my largest bit, which otherwise, as you can see, could have a tendency to look a bit box-like. So ladies, you can wear what you want, you just need to know how to disguise the bits that you don't want to draw attention to. So I'm going to whistle off my poncho, trying very hard not to get a lipstick on it, and it's got sort of little armholes in it, so it's fabulous to wear. Now I'm wearing it like this, for all you ladies who are fans of the Grace and the Tessa, because I know that you like to wear tunicky style shirts. This is the Provence shirt, I think it's from Brantex. It has pockets, which is pretty amazing. Um, if I just undo the button, that probably suits me a bit more. The reality is, however, that I wouldn't uh, wear it like this because I just think it shortens me. So what I would do is I would um, undo it and I would wear it as an overshirt. So ladies, uh, we've got almost all the seasons out of this shirt. We're wearing our poncho over it in winter and in spring. We're wearing it without a t-shirt done up in summer. And actually, I probably would wear this in the summer done up over a pair of shorts because I'm too old now to feel comfortable in very short shorts, in a very short dress. But if I have a tunic uh, or a short dress over shorts, then um, for some bizarre reason, I feel I can wear them. Right, now what you have to do now is pretend that this t-shirt fits me. I completely forgot that we only had off-white on the shop floor. So I've grabbed this off the 10 pound rail and it's a small, and I'm no more a small than I am a monkey's uncle, but it will give you the idea. And then if I just find my pockets again, you've got a really, really relaxed outfit for high summer. 59 quid will take you through all the seasons, ladies. What is there not to love about it? And also, it is the most beautiful colour. So, I am still in my Ronyas um, because I, I just really wanted to showcase some bright newness. Um, so, a bit of um, bright colour to cheer us up, especially in rainy Norfolk where it's still freezing cold. 
um, and we've still got our umbrellas out. Um, this colour is just bringing me a bit of cheer um, at the moment. So um, I loved it when I saw it in the packet and I don't think it's working too badly with my complexion. I think that it's fine. So going with navy with this beautiful lime colour, it's actually called Kiwi Online. Um, really, really great um, match. I've just popped my boots back on the bottom and I've matched it with uh, my navy... Um, Georgina Gilet, £96. Again, all of us here have got a Georgina in our wardrobe um, and we do absolutely live in them. So um, this is how I would wear it out of the house. Um, but let me give you a little rundown of what it looks like on its own. So again, this is one of our one size. Um, it's the zip sweatshirt, £42. Um, in the colour Kiwi. Um, I love how long the sleeves are on me. They are long enough, um, they're long enough to keep everything warm, but also not long enough that I'm going to get myself filthy while I'm, I'm, I'm doing things. That's, that's the main reason that I have to roll up, um, <laughs> that I have to roll up my sleeves is because I will just get filthy. But these are a really good length for me. Please don't look at my nails, they're horrific as well. <laughs> So um, it's the zip detail, as you've seen Sarah in one of the zip details, um, just along here, which again, I really, really love that as well. Um, so as a size 12 on top and 14 um, on the hips, this is the one size lime sweatshirt on me. Right, ladies, I'm not going to talk to you long because I think we're in danger of overrunning. This is my last outfit, although I am going to pop back on I've got to get wearing the sweatshirt. Actually, we might overrun because Ellie has got to get tons on. <laughs> I've got no idea where my glasses are, but I can just whistle through what I'm wearing. This is the popover blouse from Pomodoro. It is £73. This blouse you may well have invested in this winter. Let me tuck my labels in. It will work in the winter as a layering piece underneath a jacket or indeed if you're going out for supper in the evening because it's a reasonably heavy viscose. Spring and summer, particularly in this gorgeous colour, is when this popover top is going to come into its own. So um, I have orangutan arms, so the fact that it has bracelet sleeves makes it look as if they are intentionally short, which works well for me. It's got a lovely V neckline, which is uber flattering. I have teamed it up with one of our new navy belts that are going online very soon. This is the small. In reality, I probably would wear a large. Oh, indigestion now. You don't really want to hear about that. One nine one threes, ladies. These are my favourite, favourite jeans. I live and die in them. Although I am loving the Evans quite a lot at the moment. What I forgot to say, ladies, about the wide leg jump ins is I'm not actually going to have a pair in the um, in the used stone, I think it's called, or whatever that colour is, because I can see we can get them in white. And I am having a white pair. If you want a white pair too, let us know. And then we will add that to the next wide leg order as we make it so that we will call you and let you know they're in. You won't have to worry about scrabbling around online trying to get your pair. These are my espadrilles, but I do have them. They're £59. The pair I have uh, are two seasons old, so I've worn them every day for two full summers, although I've rotated them a bit with the beige ones. I can still wander around in the shop in them, but the elastics have gone. So if I want to walk around properly, I'm going to have to have a new pair this year. 59 quid, that's 20, that's 30 quid a year. I don't think that's bad. They are super comfortable. We are on our feet for eight hours a day. We wear these all day, every day in the summer. I'm just going to put it out for those of you who insist on untucking. Look how short my legs are. That's why you should never untuck. Here comes Ellie. Oh, right. My, I mean, my tights aren't all the way up, but um, <laughs> but it looks like they are on camera. So I've got, I have not got ready for quite a long time. 
So here I am in the denim skirt from Erfo, £59. Really, really love it. I have pulled it all the way up to um, to my smallest point. That's because, um, basically it's because of my legs. If it's any higher or any lower, my legs are looking quite stumpy and too big. So uh, that's why I've positioned it where I do, but I know that Donna likes to wear hers on her hips and she has, um, you know, a, a longer a longer skirt. So that's how she would wear it before I look a bit... <laughs> I do look a bit haggard now, don't I? Um, <laughs> God. Um, I have then got the fine Breton shirt in ecru and navy. £57. I'm in the large. I could actually probably do with the medium or even the small, but we didn't have them on the shop floor. So I am in the large. Um, and then I have got my coach gun on top, £66. I've got some Carmella shoes on the bottom that you can find in the sale. That's my outfit. Look at George doll. <laughs> right, so here I'm back wearing my uh, zip sweatshirt, zips, sides undone with the white jeans, and you can see how fabulous it looks. So we're back on Friday and what we're going to do is, we're going to do this all over again, well we're going to be updating our navy spring wardrobes and remember ladies the two videos are completely interchangeable, basically everything we've worn today you could wear with navy and everything that we're going to wear on a Friday you could wear with denim. So have a fab week and uh, we will see you soon, say goodbye to, oh actually you've got to, I can't see anything. <laughs> I'll turn you off.